This is the story of Treta Yuga. For some reason, Dashrata, the king of Ayodhya, had to send his son Sri Ram for a 14 years of exile. Ram, I am sending you for a 14 years of exile. As you say, dear father, I will sooner leave for the exile. But his wife Sita couldn't have lived alone without her husband. And that's why she said to Dashrata, Dear father, when my husband himself won't be here, what will I do all alone in this palace? Please permit me as well to go along with him. And then Lakshmana too said, Father, allow me as well to go along with brother Ram. Because without Ram, Lakshmana is nothing. Hearing to the request of Sita and Lakshmana, King Dashrata said, This time, he is taking my Ram away from me. But I won't be able to separate you from your dear brother. That's why I allow you to go along with my dear Ram. After a few days, with King Dashrata's permission, Ram, Sita, Lakshman went to the forest for an exile. They three built a hut and started living there. Everything was going fine. But one day, a female demon by name Surpanakha was passing by the same forest. She saw Ram and Lakshman and started to think, These two men are really handsome. Looks like they are strong too. I shall surely marry one of them. With the same plan in mind, she converted herself into a beautiful lady. And then she went towards Ram and Lakshmana. First, she went to Ram and said, I am impressed with your handsome physique and I want to marry you. I am sorry, I am already married and my dear wife is with me. You can take your marriage proposal to my brother Lakshmana who is there. He is all alone in this forest. After hearing Ram's refusal, Supanakha felt very bad. But then she saw Lakshmana and started to think. This gentleman has refused my proposal, but that's okay. His brother too looks exactly like him. I shall marry Lakshmana. Thinking so, she went to Lakshmana. Hey, good looking gentleman. I'm impressed with your handsome physique and I want to marry you. I'm already married. That's why I can't marry you. But in this jungle, you are all alone and you should not refuse a proposal from such a beautiful lady. But I don't want to marry you. Why? Am I not beautiful enough for you? Looking at this beauty, even Devraj Indra would fall for it. Why aren't you impressed? Listening to these luring talks of Surpanakha, Lakshmana lost his control and then he cut off Surpanakha's nose and ears. As soon as ear and nose got cut, Surpanakha came back to her demon form. Ram and Lakshmana saw Surpanakha's demon form and got stunned. Brother, she is a demon. I shall kill her right away. No, Lakshmana, let her go. Surpanakha left that place all in tears and straight she went to the king of Lanka. Ravana. At that time, Ravana, along with his courtiers, was sitting in the palace. Brother Ravana, Brother Ravana, see what has happened to your sister Surpanaka. Surpanaka, who has done this to you? You just tell me his name now. I shall kill him right away. Brother, in the forest there is Ram and Lakshman. One of them has cut my nose and ears. You stay here. I shall cut his head off and bring it to you. No, brother. They have insulted a woman. Even you have to take their revenge in the same way. What do you mean? What I mean is, along with those two brothers, there is a beautiful woman too. You go and kidnap Sita. Once Sita is kidnapped, Ram can be considered dead. Ravana agreed to what Surpanakha said. 
he went to a magical demon, Marich. Marich, I need your help now. I am at your service, my lord. I want to kidnap Ram's wife, Sita. And that is why I need your help. But I have heard Ram is very brave. If he comes to know that I have helped you in kidnapping Sita, then he would definitely kill me. And if you refuse to help me now, I shall kill you right here, right now. Marish understood that he is left with no other option and that he has to listen to Ravana. They both reached to the forest and as for Ravana's plan, Marich transformed himself into a golden deer and then he started roaming around Ram's hut. Very soon, Sita saw the golden deer. Deer, I need that golden deer. Sure, let me catch the deer for you right away. Saying so, Ram, along with the bow and arrows, started to walk towards the golden deer. He kept chasing the golden deer but couldn't catch it. Finally, Ram took the decision to kill the deer. He took the bow and arrow and aimed the arrow straight at the deer. The arrow hit the deer and as soon as the arrow hit the deer, he transformed back into the demon form. He then started to scream in Ram's voice. Sita! Lakshman! Lakshman, I feel your brother is in some trouble. Please go now. Lakshman knew it was demon's trick, but he couldn't say no to Sita at any cost. That's why he drew a Lakshman Rekha outside the hut using one of his arrows and said to Sita, whatever be the case, Please never step out of this Lakshman Rekha. And then he started walking towards the direction of the voice. As soon as Lakshman was gone, Ravana came over there and then disguised himself into a holy man. Give me arms. Give me arms. Oh, holy man, take these arms. To collect his arms, Ravana put his step forward, but that's when he noticed Lakshman Rekha. He stopped himself. If you want to give me arms, come out. Then this sacred man, without collecting his arms, would leave your doorstep. Sita was obliged not to let go any holy man empty-handed. That's why she stepped out of the Lakshman Rekha. But as soon as she did that, Ravana caught her. He came back to his original form. <laughs> I am no sacred man. I am the king of Lanka, Ravana. <laughs> and then Ravana kidnapped Sita and took her to Lanka. And when Ram and Lakshmana came to know about Sita's kidnapping, they started to look out for her. While searching for Sita, they made friendship with great warriors like Hanuman, Sugreev, Jamwant, Vibhishan and many more great people. And when he came to know that Ravana has kidnapped Sita and taken her to Lanka, and then he declared a war along with the army of monkeys. First Ram killed Kumbhakarana. And then Lakshmana killed Meghnath. Ah. And finally, the war began between Rama and Ravana. Ravana was full of magic. He was fighting the war against Rama using all his magical powers. Rama's arrows were causing no harm to the Rama. (laughs) 
Rama tried cutting Ravana's head off his body. But within no time, another head would appear on Ravana's body. <laughs> How do we kill Ravana? That's when Vibhishan came there. And then he said to Rama, Lord, hit at Ravana's navel. That's how Ravana can be killed. Rama understood everything. He immediately loaded the bow with an arrow and shot the arrow towards Rama. The arrow hit Ravana's navel and then he fell down towards the ground. That is how Rama killed Ravana and took back his beloved Sita.